As a successful chief executive, you know your senior leadership team is capable of so much more. You have seen the impact that highly effective teams can have, teams where colleagues have each other's back, are clear on purpose, and make great decisions on a consistent basis. Great decisions that staff and stakeholders understand and respect. Yet, you are concerned. You need a tried and tested process to bring out the best in your senior team. One that is delivered by deeply experienced coach facilitators. One that will build the highly effective team your business deserves and you can put your trust in. Our Team Effectiveness Accelerator has been developed and extensively field tested to achieve just that. So first, an overview. There are three main stages, each consisting of three steps. The first stage is discover. Using research-based methods and decades of experience, we will work with you and colleagues to define your collective ambition, capture what is already strong, and begin to identify what's holding you back. This will move you from concern to positive anticipation. The next stage is develop. We will spend two days off-site, helping you create a team charter, a more detailed operating blueprint, and a development roadmap working indoors and outdoors and blending serious discussion with some fun and relevant activities, this stage will move you from being hopeful to being fired up and committed to real improvement. Ideally, you will be able to commit to a two-day residential event, although this can be split over two single days. The third stage is drive. Back in the workplace, you will implement the priority development actions identified in your off-site workshop. This stage is all about developing momentum towards the aspiration captured in your big question. We will be there every step of the way to support and hold you to account, helping you move from being determined to being impactful, proud and hungry for more. Let's dive into the nine steps that make up this powerful process. Number one. In step one, we'll listen to your understanding of the situation. Then we'll help you identify the big question that will guide the team's collective inquiry into what needs to change. Getting clear on this will provide confidence that you have made a solid start towards improved team performance. Number two. In the second step, we'll engage with team colleagues, first via a short online meeting to set the scene, followed by a confidential online team assessment survey. We may also follow this up with one-to-one -one interviews. This step will leave them feeling included and heard. Number three. In step three, we'll analyze responses and feedback what we find on a non-attributed basis. This will shine a light on what is already strong about the team and the nature of the journey ahead. This will be an important input to the off-site workshop that follows. You will notice that energy and anticipation are beginning to build. Number four. In step four, day one of the workshop, we will work together to create a team charter. This is essentially a contract between colleagues around a shared understanding of team purpose, desired behaviours and the ways of working that will deliver the team's shared aspiration as defined by the big question. Everyone will feel increasingly connected and aligned. Number five. In step five, we'll dig deeper into the nitty gritty of how the team will work together by building out the team charter into a more detailed operating blueprint. Colleagues will feel even more encouraged by the progress being made. Number six. In step six, the final part of the workshop, we'll help you chart the team's development roadmap. This will timeline the areas for development that you will have identified. And from these, we will help you scope the top three priorities for immediate workplace action. The team will now be fired up and ready to take these actions back to the workplace. Number seven. Step seven is a self-led action phase, typically of four to six weeks. Colleagues will be determined to implement the agreed actions, but may feel buffeted by operational demands. We'll keep a watching brief to encourage, advise, and hold everyone to account. Number eight. In step eight, we will meet for a short online workshop to review progress, offer advice, and help scope your next steps. 
you will be inspired by what you have achieved so far and feel energized by what is to come. Number nine, in this final step, you will deliver the next set of priority actions in the team development plan. You will now be well on the way to establishing a rhythm of continuous improvement and your staff and customers will be noticing the positive impact your team is having. You will all feel proud at how effective the team has become. You will want to sustain this and so we stand ready to provide further support and challenge as required. This might include specific skills training, coaching and mentoring, red teaming and more. We will help you lift your team's collective performance from a place of concern and untapped potential to a highly effective team that delivers the success your business deserves. The Fresh Air Leadership Team Effectiveness Accelerator Programme is designed for you. Get in touch.